Welcome to WebStar Plus. Write a function in JavaScript to find the common elements in two arrays in JavaScript. It is a common JavaScript interview question. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, so how to find the common elements in the two arrays in JavaScript? There are a few ways to do it using JavaScript. You can use a for loop to compare each element of the first array with the second array. If the element is found in the second array, then add that element to a new array. Let's define a function called common elem that takes two parameters ARR1 and ARR2, which are arrays. Inside function, let's declare an empty array called common which will be used to store the common elements found in both arrays. At the end, it will return the common elements found in both arrays. Use a for loop to iterate through each element of the first array using the variable i to represent the current index. For each iteration of the loop, use the index of method on the second array to check if the current element of the first array exists in the second array. If the current element of the first array is present in the second array, use the push method to add that element to the common array. Once the loop has completed, return the common array, which contains all the elements that were found in both the first and second arrays. Call the function with two arrays as the parameters and function will return an array that contains the common elements between the given arrays. So 2 and 4 are the elements that are common in these arrays. Alright. Alternatively, use the set data structure has method and filter method to check if the current element of the first array is present in the second array. To do that, let's define a function called common elements that takes two parameters, which are arrays. Let's create a new set object called set2 using the new set constructor which converts the elements of the second array into a set. Now a set is a collection of unique values. Then use the filter method on the first array, which creates a new array with all elements that pass the test implemented by the provided function. In this case, the function passed to filter checks if the current value well, this value, is present in the set two using the has method. The has method returns true if the element is present in the set, otherwise it returns false. The result of the filter method will be an array containing only the elements that are found in both arrays. Call the function with the arrays as the parameters and the function will return an array that contains the common elements between two arrays or both arrays. This approach uses the set data structure for the second array and provides an O1 lookup time for checking if an element is present in the second array, which makes it more efficient than using a for loop and the index of method, as it eliminates the need for looping through the array and searching for the elements. O1 lookup time refers to an algorithm that takes a constant amount of time to complete regardless of the size of the input. All right, there is an other way. Define a function that takes two arrays as arguments. Let's call the function right away and provide arrays to this function. Inside the function, Use a filter method on the first array. It will create a new array with all elements that pass the test implemented by the provided function. In this case, the function passed to the filter checks if the current value val is included in the second array using the includes method. 
then filter common elements. The result of this method will be an array containing only the elements that are found in both arrays, as shown here 2 and 4. So this is how we can find common elements in arrays using JavaScript by using multiple methods. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.